we here at the Playhouse for the last uh, 14 years have been making sure that there are other things at the theater to see besides just top 40 events. And it doesn't mean that musicals and straight plays and comedies don't have uh, an importance, but there is sometimes there is responsibility in the arts to tell stories through theater that are true. I think this is a good venue for it because there is a lot of positive that could come out of this. If people take away the idea that they could make a difference by changing laws or petitioning governors or so that they could change it so that people are not just automatically thrown into jail and onto death row. This character was on death row for 16 years. Ironically, the character Dilbert Tibbs, we have a lot of similarities. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Uh, he lived in Chicago around the same age, late 50s. Uh, there was just a lot of similarities in the characters, a lot of stuff that he did traveling on the road, I did traveling on the road. Only thing that we didn't have in common, I was never on death row. This play, you know, they asked for donations and contributions like that, and all of the money goes to these guys that were exonerated, which is, is you know, it's fascinating. I, I, that, that was the most astonishing thing to me. I thought the government would at least compensate them and say, well, you know, you might have made 50 grand a year, you were here for 10 years, and they would maybe at least give them half of that. But they don't give them anything, which is horrible. And basically this is where the audience is going to sit. We're doing theater in the round and we've constructed it as such that because of the nature of the play and the content that it's going to be um, like sitting in a jury box as these people come out. Now even though the people were exonerated, a lot of what you're judging is not only the, these people but also our system in, in general, our judicial system, how it works and how difficult it may be to sit there and make those decisions as a juror with you know limited amount of resources that were available as opposed to today when these people were exonerated. There is more opportunity to do visual effects with you know projections, gobos, that type of thing onto the audience and onto the playing surface. However, because the cast member, the actor, doesn't stand in one position and face the audience, which is out here, they're constantly turning because they have 360 degrees that they have to play to you have to light it from all sides. The uh, theater in the round is going to be at this angle to me. I'm gonna have to be able to look over, so that's why the elevation over here in the corner. The, um, I have a production assistant that's gonna be on the right side of the stage, and she'll be my eyes on the right side, so that when um, the actors are ready to go into their scene, I know they're in places. So that's how it will be different uh, from what I norm normally do. Uh, so marketing it is a, is a little different. Um, the ads and things that we normally do in the paper and the magazines, uh, people will see many more of those than they usually do. Um, we've reached out to the law enforcement community, the legal system, um, for our panel discussions after the show. People will be here to answer questions and take audience Q&A about the legal system and about uh, the justice system. And um, it's a great opportunity for people to come and not just see a show, but to sit close to a show, be very close to the action, really have some thought-provoking experiences, and then be able to talk to professionals who work in that environment to get some good answers. I think it's the kind of theater that can change lives. We do lobby displays at the Playhouse to um, answer questions that people might have when they get done seeing the show. Sometimes you leave here, you don't think about it in your ordinary, everyday life. You just go about your business, you go shopping, you take your children to school and whatnot. You don't think about these kind of things, and when you come to a production like this, it, it, it uh, incites questions in your head. And so if you have questions, we're here to answer them. So part of the lobby display for this particular show, what we've got right over here, um, the first thing that we have is information state by state of the um, death penalty, the the rules of uh, imprisonment, the uh, all different kinds of details about state by state. Um, we also did some statistics on DNA testing. The year that DNA testing really came into being, how it's being refined and how it's now being used. All the shows that we bring through this culture historical education drama series they'll have another thing in common. They all end on a high note. It's a survival of human life, spiritualism, how that the human spirit can still survive after all that. And that's why it's important to come. And we hope that all of you will come and support this at the Palmdale Playhouse.